cool were those, huh? Now we're trying to get more African stickers, but I don't, I don't want the little guys unless it's a pre-order. I want to bring the nice, colorful, pretty ones. Okay. So we still have some here. These guys are sold or no? What's the? No, these are not, these are available. None of them are sold. No? Correct. Okay. So we have this big, uh, you know, I'm so sorry. I have Here's no clue the what they are. Okay. You know better than me. Orange blotched, I think, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Yeah. Should be yellow blotched. I know. Blue, Naiwaza, what? It's it should, that one. Oh, that's that one right there? Yep. By the bike? That one's the albino. <coughs> that's the albino, what? Compreceps. Oh. This is the Electra Deep Water I like that one. Yeah. What about the dolphin? The dolphin come in or no? No. Okay. So we have this guy right here, which is really cool. Probably one of my favorite uh, black holes. Look at the fin. Back up a little bit. Look at the fin. I got you. Look at the size. Now, this guy is carnivorous, okay? I hope I said that pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Just as this guy as well. They both eat meat. I think we're gonna, when we feed them shrimp, they're going to go crazy for it. So this is the red fin cactus, and this is the black dragon right. cactus. Right. Red fin cactus, black dragon cactus. Over here, we have the large eye, big or big eye. eye. Look, at oh. him. Look at the mouth. Look at the mouth. right here. Whoa, I lost myself here. How cool is that? Can you see it? All right, so these are the Vailanti and the Piraibas. I love these types of catfish, but they came in really messed up. We're still treating them. So they're on the website for sale, but we're not shipping them yet. All right, you can buy it to hold on for yours, but we're not shipping until they're ready to go. I won't ship anything that I wouldn't keep it myself. All right. This guy right here is an awesome fish. He's ready to go. He's actually, he's sold. That's a 12-inch Payara Armadas. Now, guys, look, this is how you can tell the difference of a real Armada. So see that little fin right there on the back? Yeah, see that little orange spot right there, right there. <laughs> that is how you know. That's one of the features of the Armadas, okay? So it's the, that's the Armadas as opposed to the red tail. Yes, and there's all those species as well that die really easy, but the Armadas is my favorite and the one that gets the biggest, and that's a true monster. Okay. I actually miss mine, but I don't. I need a bigger one. That's not big enough for me. This guy right here is a beautiful Giardini. It's already sold as well. I know some of you are going to be like, "Oh man, why are you showing us now?" I just want to show the variety of fish that we had and uh, that we still have. But these guys, unfortunately, they were sold. Unfortunately for some people, unfortunately for other people. This right here is a beautiful Vailanti cat. It's probably around 13 to 14 inches. He's fully ready to go. And these are the cousin of the Piraiba. They will probably get to three, four feet and still have the same body shape. Really cool fish as well. Where, where do you want me to go? I want me to go around the block? Well, that was a, a dead bullfin. So at least it's not going to waste. But this is for everybody that has smaller tanks. Actually, some of these fish. These right here are really cool catfish. They're more, um, they're not like a red tail, okay? These guys are more finicky. They need more attention. As you can see, this water is a little dark. I made sure that it was acidic, uh, a lot of tanning, and um, we kept them pretty warm as well. This, this is probably like 85 right now. And these guys will eat on their own. If you put a bunch of little ghost shrimp or feed a fish, they'll take care of themselves. They'll find their food. Um, they're also eating little ghost uh, frozen shrimp or smaller pieces of meat. And what are they called? These are us. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about the whole fish. These are the Duran's catfish. Or false tigrina. False tigrina is correct. They're really cool fish. Yeah. Look at that one. I think I'm keeping that one. You see how white he is compared yeah. to the other guys? Nice stripes. Yeah, really pretty. But all of them are pretty. Some of them are getting really fat. Look at this guy right here. Yeah, I look at him already. Your stomach is like bulging. Yeah. All right, down here we have the perfect predator for a small tank. These guys are the Bucktooth Tetra or Exodon Tetras. 
and they are pretty much like mini piranhas. Like you put the food in there and they will go after. Do that again. No. <laughs> now over here we have these are the cupid cichlids, correct? Yes. Pretty fish. Uh, for all you girls out there that like pretty little things, this is a pretty little thing, right? Yep. Now, actually, I'm not gonna lie, I like this fish right here. Look at that face, though. How is can that, you not like him? Is that the Nicaragua? It looks like that. You wrote the name, so I hope it is. <laughs> I wrote the name. I think this is Nicaragua. I love that face, though. And uh, which one's the Cuban? I guess. Cuban is this guy. Yep. Let's see these three here. These three are the Cubans. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what else we have? Vieja? Vieja Melanura. Is that one? This guy back here. Oh, no, get out of here, Cuban. Right there, that's the Vieja back there? He's here, but this, everyone wants to focus on that one. There we go. Now, or is that the Nicaragua? Huh. We're very professional. <laughs> It's on the website. Everything with pictures, so you can see which one. There's one of each. But definitely, guys, this is my favorite. Look at that face. Get that fish. Head. I promise you're gonna like it. Um, if he was bigger, I'll probably even throw in a grow out tank. All right, down here we have the flag tails, and these are. Okay, there's two kinds. Two kinds of. Hold on, let me bring that They're Guayancaras. Oh, blue Guanacara, and blue the other Guayancar ones? Guayancara and Spenazona. Guanacara, Spenazona, okay. There's a red uh, frontosa back there. Oh yeah, here he is. It's a pretty good sized fish. That guy's around six to seven inches. And the Leperinus, right? Uh, those are the Leperinus grunti. Really cool fish as well. Highlights. Yeah, can you zoom in like really, there you go. Yeah, girl. You know, you're doing a good job, babe. Sometimes you're horrible, sometimes you're amazing, you know. Right back at you, bro. I know, <laughs> I know. All right, over here we have Let's start over here. the bull fins. We have a couple four inch ones. And we have the ornates right there. We have the albino cupids. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Have albino hecarly. I, I hope you wrote that right. We have a couple, uh, <laughs> We got a couple clown knife. <laughs> Hold on, it's because we're distancing ourselves from population. Yeah, we're, we're forgetting everything. With our quarantine. Clown knife. Oh, here's a cool um, ornate just kind of chilling. He's like, where's my food? Yeah, it's beautiful. And where, which one yeah, of those right there? Mascara barbs. Let me see if I can find one. There we go. What are they called? Mascara barbs? Yeah. So like, like the mascara that you put in your eye? I assume. Okay. There's only one. Oh, because he has mascara. Look at it. God, he's got like yeah, black I on the eye. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so well, he's, he's not a he if he's got mascara. All right. All right. Now here we have, now these guys are pretty cool. I actually saw them in Brazil when I was snorkeling in the Amazon. These are called horse head catfish. Are you uh, able to focus or no? That says focus. Oh. They're okay. blurry. All right, and then over here we have a An couple plecos. Okay, you just move it around like that. Look, look, just look at that. That's a cool shot right there. Look how many of them. Okay, so these are the zebras. So we have yellow zebras and white zebras? No, they're just zebras. Oh. This is the angelicus with the gold spotted angelicus. Back here. Let's see if yeah. I can get some back here. Or the angelicus. It's a little bit cloudy back there. We have the leopard cactus and have? the candy stripe and the tiger stripe. What about the, this is the vampire one right here, right? Galaxy? Yeah, I well, didn't go over there yet. Uh, Ooh. Okay. What about the lemon black over there, mango black? That's the black mango. One. Let me see if I can get you. There we go. Okay. So if you like little plecos, we have a lot of them in and the stock. We have a couple of smaller pillberries as well. Yeah. That guy ate a good breakfast. So as be for peacocks, we have Tamensis cowberry. Sure, body cowberry. We should have, if I'm not mistaken, the Marini coming in. I hope that's the right name. And intermediates, smaller. So stay tuned, and we'll definitely put them up on the website. Over here we have red hooks and black banded silver dollars. Miley's 
Milas Kamberskis. All right, and mm -hmm. back there we have the half bended pikes, different sizes from four to seven inches. Beautiful. All right, down here we have Indo tarpons. We have little detonoids back there. You move all the plecos out of this thing? Yeah. So we have just a couple little detonoids. No, I see a pleco right there. A pleco fin, yep. Leopard. The leopard cactus. Where is the albino Adonis? You already moved it? Okay. Yeah. And over here we have a smaller Pureiba that's already healing up, ready to go. Beautiful. All right. So we're almost done. Sounds great. Now this tank is a little cloudy because I put salt. I like to put salt in all these tanks, just to let everybody know. On catfish, you gotta do a little less dosage though, because they're very sensitive to salt. Now, these guys are the green Texas, right? We have different sizes for two to four and a half inches. Really cool fish, nice patterns on them, and they're very good like to keep as far as like eating and very easy to maintain as well. Over here we have a big silver iguana. It's about 24 inches. It's got one dropped eye. It's a beautiful fish. It'll do great in a big tank. One eye is perfect. One eye is a little droopy, but still a very healthy animal. Let's see what else we have. This tank, oh, we got these guys in. Look at a Dorado cat. Awesome catfish, but I'm keeping him. This guy right there, this one is a L102 Snowball Pleco. Good size on them. Well, this one here is pretty cool. This is a, looks like a hybrid peacock for me with four bars. I don't think I've ever seen a peacock with four bars before. So he's up for sale. You see it in this tank right here. We have this monster size for Goza. This guy's about easily nine, 10 inch fish. It's beautiful. Blue Texas or green Texas. Look how fat he is. He's got scraped up. Beautiful colors though. We have this beautiful female. I believe she's already full of eggs. It's from one of my friends who's trying to sell it. If you guys are interested, let us know. We're gonna put it on the website, but look how beautiful she is. A lot of colors on this fish. You're ready, acclimated, ready to go. Let's get this big boy right here. Come in at a great size, very fat and healthy. Let's go ahead and put them in here. Look how beautiful they are. For me, they remind me of like an Arapaima, a mix of Arapaima and Arowana. I'll say eight to 10 inches. So cute. Tiger Shovel Nose. From Colombia, these guys are the same size. I'll say eight to 10, 11 inches. Up here we have the needlefish. Down here we have, uh, what are these called? The porthole flagtails, yeah? Porthole flagtail catfish, like a species of hoplo. And then over there we have the bellinox. Bellinosox. Bellinosox, I can never say the name, but they're really cool. Actually, somebody came here and bought a few of them and said that they give, uh, birth to live fish already, like little wiggly fish Ready? swimming, yeah, instead of eggs. Pretty cool. So over there we have the red-tailed tiger shovel nose catfish. And this tank right here, we have the albino tiger Oscar, or ruby tiger Oscars. These guys right here, they're pretty cool peacocks. They're called Mary Nine. So if you look them up, they're really, really pretty. Um, I'm looking at some of them. They're still small, but they have a nice little red right above their fin. Really cool fish. And like I said, we have a lot of black ones. Pretty much all different types. In this tank, we have this really cool spotted Nigerian lungfish. Look at him. Pretty cool looking lungfish. There you go. Awesome. Love the markings. Over here in this tank, we have a couple of water dogs. Uh, the cool thing about them is right now they have their gills exposed and in a little bit, I don't know how long it would take, pretty, last time was pretty quick. The gills will go in and they'll have a different tiger pattern 
and uh, they will need to come up for air. So having a landing area for them will be ideal. They become salamanders, right? Yeah, they become salamanders, just like us. And this think we have a couple jelly catfish left. Really cool catfish. We've been selling them a lot lately. Uh, these guys get huge though, so make sure you have a big tank for him. Oh, look at this one right here, really cool. This is a black melanistic Florida cave guard. Cave? Yeah, the reason why they're cave is because they're caught inside of a cave and they're blind, they have no eyeballs. But they don't have holes, it's just skin. Ooh, so it's pretty cool, you cannot see it, they can't see it either, so don't worry about it. Really cool fish. Uh, we're gonna try to get more in, but they're full black. Right there we have a Johanna pike. We actually have a pair of them. So if you're interested on pikes and growing them out, that's a really pretty fish. Look at the colors. A bunch of Florida guards, spotted guards. Now, this is a white or a lighter tank, so they lose their colors, but usually they're all like, like this, darker like that guy. Or like, they look at the spots on this one right here. Oh, see, try to go over the head. Go over, you see it? Really cool. So they're all like, if you put them in a darker tank, then the, the colors will come back. We already did all this. All right, we're almost done. Okay, so parrot, parrot. Two parrots, piglets. What, what is this, Inirita? That's the Inirita. Okay, the that's a... Room. There's the Rio Negro. I like the Rio Negro. They're the beautiful ones, yeah. There's a couple of them. Yeah. So okay, you want to finish it up? Um, and then we love. also have the beautiful blue masseers. Blue masseers. Look at their fins, though. They're growing and their fins are getting like, like blue. Yeah, the bottom fins they're are like fish. look like they match the bottom of the thing. Oh, these guys are in my way. They were looking for food. We have our... Oh, maybe ripsaw. I forget. Oh, I forgot the name. <laughs> we have our ripsaw catfish, which are really cool. And then we also have the rock bakus which look like ripsaws with a slightly different face, but they are a different species. Slightly larger. And then right. closing up the show here, we have our beautiful wild-caught silver arowanas, getting huge actually, they're really great eaters. And then finally we have our arrow, or albino arrow barbs. These guys are great for ponds because they can take cold weather and they, they don't really get that large, right? Uh, three feet. Three feet, oh, so they do, just kidding. Not super large, but good feet. Good job. Thanks for uh, closing out for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are safe out there. Stay home. Don't go to the gym. Wash you know. your hands. Wash your hands. Gain a little weight. It's okay to stay home. It's you know, if you're already married, we're not going anywhere. Oh, but um, if you see anything you like, just let us know. It's gonna be on the website. Again, the larger fish. I want to make sure they go to a good home. But besides that, watch our next video. We're gonna feed all these fish, and then we're gonna feed the monsters because it's been a couple of days since we fed them, all right? Now, before we close this episode, I wanna show them what we have in this pond right here. Oh. I wanna show them. Here. Come on, Thank baby, please. You. No, 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 come on, just show, just show. Real quick, it's one of my favorite fish because they have, they get massive and they're legal to have. Come on. Illegal? Legal, if they're illegal, I wouldn't have it here. Come on, go ahead, film it. Show them, don't be able to